subscribe to wasi tech tips and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today i am going to show you how you can transfer data from one pc or laptop to another pc or laptop or from laptop to pc or pc to laptop so let's begin so here i have two laptops on the left this is the laptop a and on the right the laptop b you can call whatever you want I'm going to transfer data from laptop A to laptop B and the same can be done from laptop B to laptop A. So I'm just going to use a regular Ethernet cable to transfer data. Here I have a CAT5 E cable. I'm going to use this to transfer data and to connect both the laptops. I'm just going to plug one end of the Ethernet cable to one of the laptops and the other end to the other laptop. Okay, once both the laptops are connected through the Ethernet cable, I am going to go to laptop A and I am going to show you what network settings you have to go through. So here I am on laptop A, you are going to go on the lower right of the desktop where you can see these different icons, here you can see the Wi-Fi icon, if it is not showing the Wi-Fi icon then it will be showing a small computer with a cross marking that there is no internet connection anyways you are going to right click on it and here it says open network and sharing center press on it and here it says access type internet radio to connect Wi-Fi and another connection it is saying unidentified network and here it says no access network access connection ethernet so this is the ethernet wire that we have connected with this laptop to the other laptop Anyways, you are going to press on change advanced sharing settings on the upper left corner. Here it says all networks and beneath all network it says public folder sharing. You are going to press on turn on sharing so anyone with this network can access read write files in public folder so that the other PC can read and write files from this PC and you are going to scroll down and here it says password password and protecting sharing you are going to turn off password protected sharing and press on save changes once you have done that you are going to press on ethernet and here you are going to press on properties and here you are going to find where it says internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 if it is unchecked you have to check it and you are going to double press on it and this window will pop up it says obtain an IP address automatically use the following IP address you are going to press on use the following IP address and you are going to type 192.168.11 oh sorry 1 and 1 and submit mask you are just going to press once and it will automatically write it and for default gateway you are going to type 192.168.1.2 it is important that you write this for it to work and here it says preferred DNS server you are going to type 8.8.8.8 and press on ok ok and close so we are done on laptop pair so here I am on laptop B so let us configure the network settings on this laptop as well. On the bottom right you are going to right click on the Wi-Fi or the internet icon and press on open network and sharing center. You are going to go on the upper left side and press on change advanced sharing setting just as we ran on the laptop A. Here you are going to expand all networks you are going to mark on turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in public folders you are going to scroll down and password protected sharing turn off password protected sharing save changes refresh once then you are going to double tap on ethernet you are going to go on properties you are going to mark the internet protocol version 4 ipv4 if it is unchecked check mark it and double press on it and 
you are going to press and use the following IP address and here you are going to type the IP address 192.168.1.2 and submit mar subnet mask it will automatically write it on, on default gateway 192.168.1.1 and preferred DNS server 8.8.8.8 press on OK OK close so now both the systems are connected through the Ethernet cable now I can send files from any of the uh, PCs either from laptop A to B or from laptop B to A so I am going to transfer this folder name lab work to laptop B. I am going to press Windows R on keyboard. I am going to type the IP address of laptop B that is slash slash 192.168.1.2. OK. And here it will ask for a username and password. The username and password is for the laptop B. If your laptop B has windows 10 then this will ask you for the username and password the username will be your windows id the hotmail id and the password will be for the corresponding hotmail id okay and now i have access to laptop b now i'm going to go to desktop i'm going to right click on lab work share with specific people and i'm going to press on the arrow everyone add and then i am going to press on share and this is going to tell you the location where the file has been saved on the network and my guess it is on desktop this users was a desktop and lab bar so this is the address where the file is saved on the network i can go on to the laptop b and search for this file i can find this file using this address now I am on laptop B again I am going to press windows and R on keyboard to open the run prompt and then I am going to write the IP address of laptop A that is slash slash 192.168.1.1 ok and it will again ask for a username and password the username will be the email ID of laptop A that you have provided and the password will be for the given email id your hotmail or outlook id okay and here i have uh, you can see that the networks have been shared now i can access the things on laptop a as well users wase if you remember when i shared from laptop a it showed the directory as was users wase desktop so again i'm going to go on to users wase desktop and here it should be lab work and now i am going to copy this folder to laptop b so it has copied the folder and you can see it is present on the desktop of laptop b now if i want to receive a file from laptop b i am going to type in the same ip address but once i have shared the file from laptop b this is the ip address laptop b go on to users office that is the desktop and here it's a username desktop and here I want to copy in this folder name lecture. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it on the laptop A from laptop B. And it is pasting at a speed of about 4 MB, 5 MB. Maximum it goes to 11 MB on CAT 5E cable. And the folder has been copied. So guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.